Everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Um, doing some tries on all rocks. Back in. I'm doing okay. Pardon my silence here because I may need to focus in hardcore, but... Ooh, that's new. I haven't seen that attack yet. I'm glad I got to discuss it on cam. All right. Damn. It's happening. So yeah, the idea of like having a, 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 a wolfie that can like keep regenerating is cool. Even though he's like locked away in there, like despite all that, he'll keep getting his juice back. That's kind of crazy, you know? All right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Damn. Well, we've now gotten to another phase, so that's cool. I, I didn't feel like showing the whole, like, fight again. Because, like, I had already gotten to that phase, like, normally. So I was fine to just, like, just say, hey, I did this. I can assure you I didn't have my older brother competed for me. Primarily because I do not have an older brother and I'm the eldest son in my family. I'm, in fact, the eldest living child, too. Gotcha. Okay. Where's he at? All right, there we go. My lady will be pleased after I bring her your head. All right, I'm out of blue juice. I think I'm like head slipping him there, which I'm very thankful for. Okay. I'm I'm at full health, but not at full full juice or whatever. So can I get up in there and, and hit him into this? Because I'm hoping that that's what I want. Oh. Well that makes more sense. Scare him away before he closes the coffin. Got me. Damn. That attack's your most predictable one, mon frere. That one is your least. Though if you used it more, I might learn to uh, uh, circumvent it. Okay. I kind of like that there's no, like, male vampire. Because, like, obviously it's, like, the Lords of Shadow, and, like, one of them is going to be a vampire. I know. Everyone knows. But, like, oh, man, I could have done this, like, so many cycles ago. All right. Saved. But, like, everyone knows, like, oh my god, I'm playing a Castlevania. At some point, I can bet 
I'm going to meet a Dracula. How about that, huh? What do you think of that, sir? Sometimes the load time on this crystal is like so worryingly long. All right. All right. Cool. Skip the phase. I love how like th those werewolves barely look like wolves. See, Olrox didn't like it when I whipped his little butt there. Nice. Gotcha. The dark lady watches over you. All right, getting some health juice back. Okay. Oh, he faked me out. Interesting. Okay, cool. Last one. Presumably. Ordinarily, you do rule of three, but I wonder where he'll go. Maybe it's the only werewolf, you know, suck, suck pen. Yeah, I like how they don't really look that much like wolves. It indicates that, like, yeah, that was once a man. Which is like gnarly, you know? The dark lady watches over you. I'm feeling brave. Let's go for red. This is the other thing about like um <laughs> about having so many things be like tied up in items. You're like afraid of um using them, but like when it gets to a boss, you just dump all the ones that you saved because of course you never use them. That's cool. Ah, and it's a blood lock, as you do. Radical. Alright. Shadow magic, nice. They sneaked eat on me there. All right. Steer blood. <laughs> That's silly, I think. <laughs> Steer blood. Just things that. Oh man. Like we've seen that. We've all seen Hellboy, right? Cuz like there's that there is that really good scene in Hellboy where like Can I go now? Okay, cool. Sorry, I wasn't letting me go. I guess I had the uh, had to let the animation go f finish out. Oh my god, not the whole thing. Okay, good. Oh, come on. It was right there. You saw it. You all saw it. This is a weird minigame, I will say. Like, I thought the point of having a blood lock was so that the blood all flows in and it all fills in automatically. But it's right there. You can see it. It's physically in the lock. Hey, that time it worked. Couldn't tell you why. Okay. Yeah, this thing is just a timer, by the way. Wasted too much time there. All 
I don't think I'm going to make it. Yeah, it wouldn't let me turn earlier. Okay, whatever. Alright, time to spare. Like, the point of a bloodlock is that all of it fills in, right? Like, it's, it's like this blood has the consistency of pudding. Like, like Gabriel's just like trailing his finger through it and like dragging the pudding through. How strange. Deadly toys, big medium. Laura, the daughter of the vampire lord, brought these into existence with the dark spell of her own making. She able to control these toys and transfer the life force from toy to toy, making them difficult to defeat. As long as the spirit inside is defeated, they can't return. And the crude stitching is the source of the spell. And opening up one of the deadly toys, one can destroy the spell. This will destroy the spirit, rendering it useless. Vampires were not the first tenants of the castle. The previous owner was Frankenstein. He used the castle to conceal his horrible uh, experiments in artificial life. The mechanical monstrosity was one such foray. Frankenstein created the scorpion-like machine using the brain of a malformed medical experiment gone wrong. His creature proved difficult control and rampaged through the castle, killing anything it can get its claws into. Hmm. Don't know why I hadn't clicked on that yet. Okay, now what? Ah. Ooh. Big finish. All right, let me see if I can't. I think I've bought all the cheapies, and yeah, there's just two 6,000 ones left. So, Ulrox is down. It's another classic Castlevania guy. The throne room. The Ulrox has opened the way to the queen. She holds the next piece of the god mask, which Gabriel must acquire if he is to be with his beloved again. She will try to seduce him, to glamour him, but he will see through her mask, I'm sure of it. He is so very strong Are you sure? Now, and even she must fear her own Also, death we remember that he's getting the I god mask to be with his her beloved. Fear, her stench. Vampires can sense the living, but the dead she cannot. She knows Gabriel is here, yet she cannot sense death close at hand also. She knows what it is he wants. Poor, beautiful Carmilla, you will cry bloody tears before this night has ended. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually awesome. <laughs> you will cry bloody tears. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So Bloody Tears is one of the, for those who don't know, Bloody Tears is one of the most famous Castlevania songs ever. Although it actually originates in Castlevania 2, which people don't like as much as Castlevania 1 or 3. In fact, 2 is on the bottom of many people's lists. Ooh, bats! I actually played Castlevania 2 for the channel uh, a while ago. And the fa it being so bad was what made me take so long in between now and then, because now we're like almost a year past when I played Castlevania 2. We're certainly a year past when I recorded it. Oops. One moment, sir. But yeah, like, the most, uh, uh, like, oh, it emptied it because it filled it, but it filled it back to 100 and not 200. Kind of lame. Um, so, bloody tears, yeah. So, the most iconic thing from Castlevania 2 is the song called Bloody Tears. And it's an awesome song. It's a really, really awesome song, but... It isn't that good for many purposes. It has a. I am told that you are looking wow. for me, warrior. That you seek to obtain the power of my other half. She took the front of my shirt with her. You are brave and handsome. Would you not? Yeah, you can see that she's wearing the same armor as the same uh, yes. uh, red and gold. I can show you many things. Did um. Many pleasures. Did the armor leave your entire your torso open? To me. Like vampires, kind of well known for you staking one through the heart to kill them. <laughs> you are a fool, Gabriel. You think I don't know who you are? So is that like dress My tape? My in her piety wanted nothing but good for the world. Or maybe she has nipple she piercings, and, brought and then she has little magnets. Herself. In the in the Mankind in the shirt to hold them on there. And you must choose sides. 
Or maybe, you know, it's the olden days. Not death and decay as you have. Maybe it's like a, uh, uh, like a horse glue, you know? We are not so different. You and I. There it is. Empty your drinks, everyone. Save you now. You will be one of us eventually. It is inevitable. No. I will take the three powers and unite them. You would kill those who founded your own holy order. You are even more cold-blooded than I. Who is the real monster here? The Get vampire. Away. Like, <laughs> you poor deluded I can fool. eat bread and I'll be fine with that. You think but you need to kill innocents in order to get blood. You? Are you looking up Someone evil people before feeding? Love. Jerk off? Oh, who's the real monster? Let me say as I float away and attack you with blood sorceries. There is no resurrection. Only this living death you see before you. Join her then. And then she also said, we're not so different, you and I. Like, just here's the most cliche things a villain could possibly say. Was she hoping that her chest would distract me from them? Carmilla. One of the three founding members of the Brotherhood of Light were brave warriors who sacrificed their bodies to become spiritual, to fight God's wars against evil. Performed a ritual to transform themselves into angel creatures. Intentions were honorable, but their spirits were fractured. The good sides were transported to heaven as angelic beings, but their but dark sides were left behind. The second of the founders, Carmilla, a highly skilled healer, was a highly skilled healer, and her talents knew no equal. Pure of soul and chaste in mind and body. Yeah, I, you can tell by looking at her. She was not for her love of all living creatures. Uh, when the spirit left her body that fateful night, her love for life and purity were corrupted. Uh, purity corrupted, of course. It's well known that a ritual gone wrong is like 99% chance to make you sluttier. I mean, I say that, but I guess there have been a lot of those. Oh, you're the lightning. Go, my children. Be human shields for me. You may get hit in the collateral damage, but that's okay. I'll make more of you. So Carmilla, of course, is a, you know, classical uh, literature character. I believe she actually predates Dracula, but part of that is because Dracula is actually a newer book than many people imagine it to be. Mister. Like, I think Dracula was only written in, like, the 1890s. So things like Levi's Jeans, Coca-Cola, um, Nintendo Entertainment Company, all actually predate Dracula. Nintendo because they had a stint making playing cards before they uh, made video games. And they were like, hey, we'll make video games. Just like, you know, a different kind of game. You're not making me a good sell here, lady. Anyway, yeah, so the point of this was Carmilla is a, a literature character and she has like vampire lore that actually predates Dracula. So many people often make her like just another kind of Dracula. Like, you know, like a girl Dracula. Okay. Um, yeah, they make her just a vampire, and so, like, she's shown up in Castlevania as a vampire subservient to Dracula, or in the anime, she's a vampire who wants to, like, kill Dracula and replace him, and take over his, you know, seat of power as the Dark Lord. Um, she's in Circle of the Moon, which is a Castlevania game that I actually like a lot. Um, Circle of the Moon is all about knockoff 
Castlevania characters. He's holding that way too much like a sword. Oh, he's staking her. That's fine. Cool. Mm-hmm. What will her boobs look like now? Okay. She has breasts, I guess, but she's also still a mammal. Vampire Dark Lord. Just like the Lycanthrope Dark Lord, Vampire Queen was granted an animal-like manifestation of the dark parts of her spirit. Pitifully ironic that a healer would, with such a love for life would be transformed into a blood-sucking monster that consumes the energy of living beings to survive. This ungodly bat demon uses the, se the Seraph's shoulders to fly and can conjure vampire warriors at will from anywhere in the castle to do her bidding. Cool. The shoulders, huh? So I guess that's going to be uh, a wing thing so I can, like, double jump. The only thing that can stop a bad guy with vampire powers is a good guy with vampire powers. I'm fine with her design here. It's not, like, too crazy horny. Like, yeah, she has breasts and all, but, like, she's also a mammal. So whatever. Like, it's not, like, obscenely sexual. I really like uh, Carmilla's design in Circle of the Moon as the final boss and her generic design as well. But yeah, Circle of the Moon is a Castlevania game that's all about, like, knockoff Castlevania characters. So it's about a different family of vampire hunters. Not the Belmonts, but a different family of vampire hunters who have a different vampire killing whip called the Hunter's Whip. Not the vampire killer, the Hunter's Whip. So then Jonathan Morris... Or is it Jonathan Morris? No, it's, um... Nathan Graves, that's who it is. Nathan Graves is the guy in, in Circle of the Moon. And like, yeah, knockoff family of vampire hunters, knockoff vampire killing whip, and instead of fighting Dracula, they're fighting Carmilla. And it's like, it's nice because like, you get to see other hunters that aren't the Belmonts, because like, you know, the Belmonts are pretty important and almost everything's about them anyway. I killed your your friend. Are you like as strong as him? Cause like, if that's the case, you'll have some troubles. Yeah, Staker. You'd think that would be enough. I guess she's a demon though. All right, platform gets smaller. Can I suck up my orbs soon? I don't want them to expire. Look upon Am I not beautiful? I'm not gonna say I, I'm I'm pleading the the, the 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 fifth here. I can do that, right? I know that America doesn't exist, so this is well, Lake Air, Transylvania or whatever, but Anyway, yeah, that's my favorite interpretation of Carmilla. If you don't mind spoilers, you should all definitely look up the ending of Castlevania, or just look up Carmilla in Circle of the Moon, because she has like a normal like human shape, and then she has this weird fucked up like design. Skip ahead 10 seconds if you don't want to hear. She is a nude woman with wings riding a skull because she's been mind controlling a guy that you know. It's cool. All right, presumably, Everyone else has skipped ahead those 10 seconds and now is free from spoilers. But, like, that's why I really like her design because, like, it has a bit of the sexy You're stuff in it. Me, did I reject you or... Oh, yeah, I guess I did. I feel like I didn't really have much of a chance to say no is all. Um, but, yeah, I like the design. It's cool. It's symbolic. It has a lot of, like, interesting sprite work. It just looks really neat. It's just one of my favorite Castlevania designs ever. So yeah, did 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 like Angel Carmilla just like take your breastplate in in the you know in the soul severing? Also, I like that weird little cursed mirror back there. I don't know if that's intentional, but like, look here. You can see that there's a mirror. And I show up in it, and she doesn't. I don't know if that's intentional, because it appears to show the entire arena, even though that arena doesn't exist in this form anymore. 
But you know what? It's cool. Like, I think that there could be more stuff to do. Because, like, now we're getting more and more, like, better technology in terms of, like, developing mirrors. Because for a while, you know, we would just have, you know, mirror technology where, like, the mirror was, like, cracked and cloudy. And, like, that's lame. Or, like, you know, there's a simple solution of, like, you put a... You put an identical player model back there, and then they track to the player. That's how Duke Nukem in, like, Deus Ex do it. And that's cool. I like both of those. I love having mirrored tech in games. Oh, of course. I'll just hold it with my hand. Oh, it's the gauntlet. Never mind. That's fine. Oh, cool. Hey, she's got the little thing. She has the little orb of a holy protection that I have when I'm using light magic. Oh, he's so brutal about it. Oh man, are we gonna get that God of War moment? Dear life. Luckily, this chain is as long as I need it to be. Wow, I wish I could have done that a while ago. I think it would have skipped through some of it. Health bars are one of those things in video games that, like, do almost never actually make sense. Oh, man, that's radical. Like, you know, I beat on her with this vampire killing thing, but it didn't... Oh, God. Too early. Gnarly. <laughs> ah, well. Let's see where the checkpoint is. Oh, my God. Shut up. Okay, cool. But this is a this is a cutscene that you play, so I can't skip through all of it. Anyway, mirror tech. So there are a couple of games where like mirrors are given like a certain level of like care, and like you can have a mirror. But like I love the idea of the way that it opens. That's radical. I love the idea of having, like, a fight with a vampire in a room with a mirror in it, so, like, you can see yourself in the mirror fighting nothing. That's cool. And if you do it in a way where, like, you have a mirror, and then you have another version of the player character on the other side of said mirror. Oh, the boots. Now I will stake you on the tip of this tower. Nice. Oh, man. Radical. Oh! Oh, the, the tower collapsed. Oh, that's so cool. Gnarly. Super radical. It all comes tumbling down. Still hanging on, huh? Damn. I guess it wasn't like a sacred consecrated um, stake. Like the top of the tower is just regular iron. It's not blessed or whatever. Yo. Do you snap it off in her? It looks like. Oh, there's a little bit where you could see the, like, the, the human part of her in, in that thing. Anyway, yeah, health bars are one of those things that, like, don't always make sense, but, like, whatever. I'm willing to suspend my disbelief. Oh, that's a really cool effect. With the smoke. Oh, and I get angel wings, because I'm a good boy. Awesome. Super cool. Oblivion. Demonis. Sorry, I made a little weird noise with my throat there. I think it peeked on the microphone. All right. It is the other thing. Like, I really do like um, how I've been like c collecting things and they add on to my already busy character design, but they all work together very well. 
I enjoy that. Because, like, a lot of the stuff that you get in, in, you know, like, Symphony of the Night, off the top of my head here, a lot of that is equipment, even though Alucard is magical, and it could all just be a magical ability. Oh, is that the Mirror of Fate? Oh, hey, Pan. Thought you died. Hoped you died. Again, I do like the idea of, like, Soon, Athletics working with pagan gods because they can't get aligned to Jehovah. The palm of your hand. I now know that the founders of the Order created the Lords of Shadow. They are one and the same. They ascended into heaven as pure spirits, but left behind their dark sides. I learned it like one Lord of Shadow ago, Why in fact. Why are we paying the price for their arrogance and stupidity? Tell me. What am I fighting for? I love the archangels in the background. This Only is so cool. Only when we look inside ourselves can we truly begin to understand. <laughs> Good effect. I like it. What is this sorcery? How far are you prepared to go to uncover the truth? All right. Cool. Chapter eight done. Relic found the Seraph shoulders. New skills unlocked. Yep. Double jump. Classic. Getting the wings to do a double jump, always always fine with me. And then that gives you a big burst. So now, upward guillotine, whirlwind flap, aveware, aveware, air wave flap, and then I still have holy cross and quake. Oh, that's awesome. Just get away from me now. I love that. Oh. That's a good session of recording. I got through a lot of stuff today. Um, this has been another episode of Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I'm pleased that I snuck it in at uh, 30 minutes. I've been trying to limit these recording sessions to closer to 30 minutes. Because, like, it'll help me out if these are a little shorter for the time being. Uh, sorry if I'm depriving you of your Castlevania experience, but you could also go watch my older LPs or some of my other beat em ups. Um, it's a very long game. Uh, I've hit 18 episodes now. And, like, I talked about this in Valkyria Chronicles, but most of my LPs stop at around 10 or 11. A lot of them are only nine episodes. Um, and so it's a little difficult to have so many long running LPs because, like, uh, sometimes I want to play something different, you know? And that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm working through it at an abreast pace. I imagine that there's only one more Lord of Shadow left, and then probably some kind of twist, as is, as is tradition. There's going to be some sort of twist. I'm, I am smell it, you know? Uh, but until that happens, I'll see you next time. We'll just continue on. Uh, but yeah, that's been Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Thank you for coming. I had a good time. I hope you did too. I've been Alfred. Hope you have a good day. Bye, everyone. <laughs>